As you take a look at our starting lineups for the Bruins, it's Kiki Rice, the talented freshman in one of the dark spots with Gina Conti running the show, Charisma Osborne, and mentioned her and her abilities, and there's Cameron Brown in another guard spot with Emily Bessoir, the redshirt sophomore out of Germany. And for the Utes, Izzy Palmer, that's a plus for Utah. She went out after the end of the third quarter in Friday night's game. Good to see her back running the show. G Gianna Neepkins, yeah, got a box out. There's length on both sides. There's quickness at the guard spots. So which team's offense will be on as the tip goes to the Bruins, the team that leads the conference in offensive rebounds. Crucial for the Utes to keep them off the glass. Quick passing. They work it around. That's a great start for the Bruins as Bessoir gets the first bucket. Yeah, and they they really like to invert the floor and get their guards to post. They start with a post up with a guard and a great kick out for a three. Yeah, she had an open look there. We saw them working on that yesterday at practice. And they come off with a very tough overtime loss in Boulder on Friday. So you got extra time. You're at elevation. You don't quite have maybe the same depth as Utah does. But working on some things and trying to clean things up. Healy's high post shot just short. Not quite to the midway point of conference play, Anthony, but you know this as well. These coaches know how to scout. They know how to make adjustments. Wasn't sure. Looking at that replay. This is a home shootout or not as that one drops from the team. A McDonald's All-American coming in. And gets the free throw. Matched up inside. That's Cameron Brown with Peely and trying to work on her. And they get it. They get the steal. Rice going to push. Play up there, Brown with the trail, offensive rebound, again, average 15 per game, and it leads to a three ball, that's a big time conversion. And it looks like Corey Close maybe going to go to that bench also, again, come off of a trip to Boulder, now they've been at elevation now for a few days, and it can start to catch up to it. Healy, help D, drop it on her, and she kicks it all the way across to Palmer. Shot clock to three. Neekins into the lane and just short. Johnson, a second chance for the Utes. And she gets fouled and she'll go to the line. Utah still looking to get on the score. It's the first free throw for Jenna Johnson. Freshman team member last year. Players are going to have to make plays. Yeah, it looked like in real time it might have gotten tipped, but it did not. It was off the hand of Peely. And so there's an aggressive drive. Shot no good. Brown on the weak side. It's only a six-point lead for UCLA. They haven't scored in a little while. Oh, for their last four shots and just one for seven. So, which I'm finally getting them to slow down a little bit. They came out red hot. Really deep in the paint. Hard to stop her. She works her way deep in that paint, and it's hard to push her out of there. Help D coming over on Iwala. Skowicz stepped on the sideline. Both teams average about 14 turns a game. And they're both four spots between 16 to 18 per game. Really again. Help D was there, but no, the and one. Coming into this program, what's at stake? What, what is expected of you? Just the tradition that you like. It's spacing by UCLA. Shot clock to seven. The right wing by Rice won't go. Great half court possession there defensively for Utah. Finished it with a great block out. Osborne and Brown check back in for UCLA. It's going to be Utah ball. And Palmer again bringing it up for the Utes. Guarded by Kiki Rice. Queen hit a big three the other night, and we're glad to have her back into the starting lineup as Deja Young takes it right up the freshman. Yeah, that was a counter to the play they ran earlier. Quick pass in left corner, Bessoir sticks it, big bucket by Emily Bessoir. And this is UCLA's best offense, it's just playing early in the possession, try to get a drive, try to get a post catch, and then play around it. Bessoir, what rehab she's had coming off the ACL injury last season, did not get to play with the Bruins with 12 points for her at Colorado. She fouled out of that when they need her on the court. Oh, 
Anthony, we watched them practice that so many times yesterday, but when you're in the real game situation, it just has a different feel sometimes. But Kiki Weiss is so smart. I doubt she'll do that again. Yeah, it, great drive right there. But freshmen just take time, and, and you just got to learn it. The speed's different. It just takes time. It's a pretty floater. Gabriella Hawkins with the hoop. Help D coming over as Billy gets blocked partially, but also gets fouled. So this free throw is good. One for two for Peely, but we're all tied up here in the first quarter. It's been a good one. Bruins came out ready. Walla against Peely. And again, quick passing for the Bruins. It's the quick passing has been able to get him to that open side and away from the double team. Number 22 recruit in the nation coming in this season. Gets them both. Bruins up by two. Kelsey Reese is on, 53 and white for Utah. Jenna Johnson back on as well. Young got the shot, using the screen perfectly. Iguala, FD, Osborne, they left her. Can't get it. Switch on the offensive glass, keeping it alive. The second offensive board, Moskowitz on this one. They lead the conference. They average 15 per game. We talked to Corey about this. You know, it's tough up here uh, with as good as Utah's in transition if they were going to continue to offensive rebound the way they have it. Five turns for Utah, three turns for the Bruins this first quarter. Johnson up high. Too much. Meekins, long board. Gets the shot off with the left hand and almost got it to go. But that's the way the first quarter finishes up. At this point in time of the year, injuries start happening and other people have to step up. Lowest first quarter scoring for the Bruins since their Washington game January 20th. They had just five points in that one. Utah's lowest scoring first quarter since Colorado in January. Only 12 in that one. And as you said it, both teams had to bring some defense today. Oh, handoff to Jones and gets it to go. And the Bruins know it. You know it's going to happen, but just maybe try to rush yourself a little bit too much because you know it's coming. Peely takes it in. Finger roll. Pretty. Just took her time and got the shot that she wanted. And you're without Lena Shantok, so you, you lose a player there. Oh, they got three. Yeah, is good. Jones, 31% three-point shooter. Yeah, and again, the guard down inside to get charisma down in the post early in the possession, and she found a teammate on the other side of the floor for a three. Jones had 14. Neepkins, deep and staying with her. Jones has had double figures six of the last ten games now. The freshman getting the offense. Oh, Bessoir steps right into that three. Yeah, and UCLA just doing a great job in transition. Just the first personal on her, and she fouled out on Friday in Boulder. Left corner, Deja Young likes that shot. Yeah, but that happened because of Keeley. To get ahead of the defense, Jones lost it for a second, still got the shot off. That one around it out. And a takeaway, Brown. Bruins, can they get defense to offense? They do. Kiki Rice. Sidberry and Peely. Help D coming down. Peely, another chance. Gets it. She's patting her stats right there. And it's not a great angle at times. It's been tough. It's been very much high, low, not diagonal. But she's able to hang on. Great hands. Here's Rice using the screen. Just short. Hawkes. Right place, right time. But there's Sidberry with the block. Some talented freshmen in this league. Sid Berry for Utah. You got Hawkins and Rice on the other side. Queen's been fairly quiet offensively. She's yet to score. Others getting it done. Palmer guarded by Rice. The length of Rice at 5'11. Sid Berry, she can hit it. Not that tight. Oh, follows her shot. Yeah, and the thing I love about Sidbury is just her motor. She, she still, as every freshman is, but she is, she just plays her tail off. A tough break for the Bruins as they had boxed out well, but they tipped it right to Sidbury. Sidbury not hanging her head. She followed her shot. Got it to go. Osborne using the screen. That's where she likes it. Young hit one 
a little earlier from that spot. Gets a little bit closer. Here's Palmer, right side. High Arthur switch. Beautiful pass. Dribble penetration again to the paint. Draw help and found exactly the right person. Knocked down the shot. Palmer, two for two behind the arc. She's got six points. So many options for the Utes. I like the Palmer-Rice matchup. Osborne really came out on her and a little too aggressively. They play so well off of both those post catches and that dribble penetration. So instead of the two-time all pack 12 member at the line, gets the shooter's touch on the second. One point Bruins lead. It's been close. It's been back and forth. Oh, great defensive play. Turnover on Palmer. The ninth turn of the game for the Utes. Can the Bruins capitalize? Jones and her aggressive play. And the Hup D rotating over into the hands, though, of UCLA. Hawkins flashing the lane. Spins it up. What a finish. Wow, what an incredible play. She's a player, Corey Corsa. She's got a little mean in her, but in a good way. She's, she's tough. Her brother plays for the men's team at UCLA. Awesome to see. Double team. Palmer, a little hesitation to Neepkins. Neepkins on the drive, gets it. Again, double team in the post. Find the open person. One more pass in the baseline drive. It's beautiful basketball. And also another takeaway as... Hawkins fell to the court, but Conti cleans it up. Again, UCLA scoring early in the clock, trying to get there and get something before Utah can get set. McQueen wanted it. She was open momentarily. There's the help on Peely. McQueen can't get it. That's water back on. Better job by UCLA covering up the backside that time, forced it to come out on the same side, which was covered. Osborne read the double team and hanging out with Hawkes. And they're back up to a five-point lead with just two minutes left in the first half. Oh, the switch, and they didn't get back. Sit there, he saw it, but cannot finish. Both teams looking a little winded out there. This pace has been fast. Just short for Conti. Neepkins will bring it up. Yet this pace, UCLA's depth is going to be challenged in that mm -hmm. second half. Yep. When Roberts told us she wanted that pace up. Palmer, the end one. Jones. Peely will get a rest. Reese is back on. Three point play for Izzy Palmer. Bruins trying to run. Rice. Slashing up. Draws the contact. Here's Rice. It's the first. Just go on and on for this talented Bruin. And she gets the free throws back to a five-point lead as they went on a 9-0 run earlier. Defensive rotation has been sharp for UCLA. Neep and third McQueen, excuse me, steps back and sticks it in. Back within one. Crowd loves that. Brandon, what a read of the defense for both of these teams. They're really reading what the other team's giving them. Yeah, this is high-level basketball being played right now. A chance for the Bruins to extend the lead back out before halftime. Rice gets a little bit closer, uses the big board. She does such a great job of getting her shoulder square to knock that down. And Vieta trying to... Chip away at it, but cannot do it. And both teams knew the transition defense was going to be so key today in this one. As we're ready for the third quarter, and it's Utah ball. See what adjustments are made at the break. Lucas has been quiet, just two points, one of five shootings. She averages 15 points per game for Utah. They could use a little more from her. Queen and Johnson. Oh. Strong post inside. Great execution. They came out and ran a little set that, that UCLA covered to, to get a post feed, but then they stayed with it and got it on the second side of the floor. That's beautiful basketball. Four points for Jenna Johnson. She averaged 11, averages 11 per game on the season. Here's Brown. She just helped score. She's not a big scorer, but she's a big defender for the Bruins inside. 
Gina Conti, the grad student out of Grove City, Ohio. Yeah, high bank Emily shot, good. Bestwall. I've really been impressed with Emily Bestwall. Yeah, showing you the full package there, getting to the post and going to that little left shoulder jump hook. First Bruin in double figures, she has 11. Three for three behind the arc, and that time taking it inside. Johnson finds McQueen, and she gets the layup good. Yeah, and there's that trouble with going over the on-ball screen. You've you got to have your help uh, to be there for you when you do go over the top of that thing. And now Utah defense tipping it off of UCLA. Palmer, she's so quick, kicks it out to McQueen. Long rebound. There's Johnson on the weak side glass, and she's going to get free throws. Johnson, four points, trying to add to it. But she's got five rebounds. Average 12 points a game. She, she had double figures 17 times. She and Neepkins had a lot of pressure as freshmen in the Pac-12. Yeah, really skilled offensive player. Like Iwala's upside. There's a lot of potential for this freshman. And they say Osborne stepped on the sideline. Oops, up by one. Neepkins on the back. Today. Not easy to do with the kind of pace that we've seen here in this one. Both teams playing Friday, an overtime loss in Boulder for the Bruins as Osborne loses that one, and now Utah trying to push again. Johnson inside, Peely high to low. <laughs> And just showing off everything that she has to bring to the offensive end of the floor. Just knowing where she was, great movement. Brown without the ball. Good basket for UCLA. They needed that one. Cameron Brown, her first points the ball game. As Palmer tried to take it in. Yeah, Peely set the on-ball screen and trailed it right to the rim. This layup, she's right in position to knock that down. 13 for Peely. Jones, a hesitation. Not a lot of space for Iwala to move it. She kicks it back out. Jones hit a big one earlier. Hits a big one there. Yeah, freshman to freshman. Palmer, off of her hand. Iwala was really trying to not give her the angle, but she just was able to use the backboard. Swire using the screen. Hits it. She is automatic out there. Yeah, that's a beautiful set. A uh, little, little kind of a flex action. Eight lead changes. Five ties. Healy. She kicks it out. She Barry. Off the iron. Long rebound. Weiss out running. And Vieta catching some contact and it's going to get called for the foul. Was trying to get there. Vieta was trying to get back. She and Sidbury and they got tied up. First foul on Vieta. Oh, Bessoir again. Trying to get it into Peely. The defense helping and reading it. Nice. up good. A bit of a drought of three minutes without a score. Johnson got the three off, can't get it. Good job by UCLA not letting Peely get a touch in the post. They sort of just, Utah sort of just put Peely down inside and let her play down there, and it's kind of taken away some of their spacing. Oh, and there's Jaquez, the balance attack. Three turnovers in the last three and a half. Giving up chances. Utah's just gotten, this is the most stagnant I've ever seen them offensively. Yeah. Vieta, you're right, attacking and getting herself to the line. And first free throw good. Pili on the bench. Sid Berry there as well. Gets them both. In the post with Jenna Johnson. Has to Brown, she drives it in, good. Great patience. Brown with four points. Again, Jenna averages three points a game, but you get that production. And a turnover by Utah, another one for them. It's the 14th of the game. Oh, round and out, long rebound. Another one for the Bruins. And 
Whistle and a foul down low. Going to go against nine corners. Trying to add to it. And she does. Utah, no field goals in the last five minutes, but you can get to the line. Stay in a, and stay in the ball game. Brown, right wing, no good. McLean will bring it up just under a minute left in the third. And this match inside, Reese and Osborne. Just set the screen instead. They need a bucket. It's been over five minutes without one for the Utes. Foul against UCLA. Foul on London Jones for fourth. So she comes out. Rice back in. Meekins to the line. Quiet offensive outing today. Gets them both. Rice. Goes floater. Goes left. Reese big board. Utah going to try to cut into the deficit. Meekins. Short. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. The ball a bit better. 45% from the floor compared to 42% for the youth. But you're right. Utah handing over and giving away opportunities when they had the lead. See which team can make the adjustments here. A little kid and go. And the blocking foul. A great oh, pass for the finish. Cameron Brown. Points. And can't get the three point play as Bassoir kept that alive. Johnson was trying to box her out. Another O board for the Bruins. That's their sixth. They average 15 a game. But the timing of that one, a good one. Conti around and out. Rebound to McQueen. Utah trying to push. They went on the over six minute scoring drought to finish off the third quarter. They got to find some offense here. Yeah, and, and Bessois just got a little, really little out of control down there. McQueen off the front of the rim. That lets the Bruins get out running. Rice. Hawkins there. And a whistle and a foul, though. McDonald's All American. She played in the McDonald's All American game. Takes time to really understand this level of play. The defense, Oliver Palmer, she hangs on to it. Young. Down three. Woods, Brenda Pantoma, our crew here today. It's been a track meet. Ivala guarded by Peely. Johnson's going to try to help. Conti. They swim up, she sticks it. Yeah, that was a great job of playing out of the double team. They brought it out on the same side after the double in the post, swung that to the opposite side of the floor, knocked down three. That ties the largest lead of eight points for the and one. A little concerned after she went out the end of the third on Friday, but she gets the three point play. Five point Bruins lead. Jones back on. She'll take it. Post. A little flip flat on that one. Substitution. Chilly day here in Salt Lake City with snow on the hillside. But what a good one that's eaten up here inside the Huntsman Center. Three point Bruins lead. And we'll try to keep you an update on Charisma Osborne. She just went out, a little dinged up prior to the timeout. Hawkes flashing to the block. Bruins in a bit of foul trouble. Three players with four personals apiece. Bruins would love to get her back out there. I think we're good for Kiki Rice. Going to find out a lot about her young team here. Hostile <laughs> environment have to execute down the stretch. You cannot get the second. Paul McQueen and Reese, 3,000 piece for Utah. Oh, good hands. Hawkeyes, hand in the passing lane, the takeaway. Coach was said it. Starts with the defense. They had to have better D and stops. Brown, high to low. Good head D coming over. Minnesota, Texas. Can't get 
make the first free throw. And he certainly hope to get her back as Brown can't capitalize. McQueen, and roll with Bealy. And Waddle left it for just a second. She gets to reverse. And she plays it. Hawkes, it'll stay with Utah. As Young shot off the front of the iron, and the rebound down to Brown. Wall up ahead, Rice gonna push, trying to get some help. Oh, and an offensive foul, so it shifts back the other direction. Conti guarding McQueen. Turned up, Healy. And the help D. Osmond was trying to get there. Utah in the bonus the rest of the way with 3.37 remaining. 17 points, 8 rebounds for Peely. And gets them both. And the Bills with a 2 point lead. Osborne using the screen, gets a big bucket. Her defender screenable, used that screen, got to her spot, knocked down the shot. Great screen as well. And she quieted the crowd a bit. McQueen, lofty pass on the D of the Bruins. Both teams in the bonus. Osborne. Gets the second big drought for the Utes. With a four minutes without a field goal. Palmer drives it. Palmer and no good. Conti decides not to use the screener. Bailey comes up with it. Great rebound. Utah needs a score. Just over a minute left in the game. Nickens takes it in and draws contact. She'll get three throws. And the Cougar is up 66-57 as that one goes for Nickens. Managing her fouls, getting her better defenders on the floor, and then when it's on the defensive end of the floor, and the better ones, offensive players on the offensive end. Nine-second differential between shot clock and game clock. So for Utah, you do not have to foul here. Both teams in the bonus at this point. Hawkins takes it in the corner. They say hands straight up. And a timeout call. They'll be able to advance the basketball. 20.8 on the clock. Utah's going to have to try to work some of it. And they come up to Palmer, guarded by Hawkins. Palmer gets picked to play it. Young in a high post. Peely, got a fake. Takes it. If you're Utah, you got to play some good D right here. And if you're UCLA, you got time to get this one off. Conti on the inbound. Jones.